Fox City's Restaurant Week is around the corner, and Fox 11's Gabriella Primus is checking out what's on the menu ahead of the event. Hi, Gabby. Emily, I'm sorry I have to do this oh. to you. I'm sorry you have to take look at for all the team. this yummy food in front of us. Yep. Yes, I am taking one for the team. That's right, this morning. Uh, I'm at Obie's Brow House in Appleton on College Avenue. I'm with Chris. He's the owner. You're seeing all this delicious food. It literally just came out of the kitchen, so we need to yes. wait a second for it to cool down. Tell us a little bit about Obie's. So we, uh, we've been uh, in the States now as a restaurant for 23 years. The restaurant's been in the family now for 95 years. I actually bought last year in September. So we specialize in schnitzels, beer, authentic German cuisine, and some European too. So these are just some of the items that you're going to be serving for restaurant week. Yes, these are two of the options. Tell us about what else you're gonna be having here. So on, on our uh, restaurant week menu, we're also gonna be offering a three course option uh, choice of super appetizer. We'll be serving the Reuben soup, the meatballs with feta cheese, and the other one is the wild pork shank, which you have right here. These are phenomenal. The shanks so are yummy. killer. I wish you guys at home could smell all this. I'm going to start digging in, but you try to incorporate what's on your restaurant week menu into what's always on your menu, correct? Yeah, yes. We want to try to make it, because restaurant week is all about getting people to try new things in different restaurants and cuisine that they don't normally have. And so I don't I don't necessarily focus on coming up with like a special because I believe our food is already special enough the way it is. The trick is to have them try it. So we make it in a way that they can try all of the good things in one meal or three courses. You mentioned earlier that when people come here, they say this is pretty much authentic German food and yes, they actually see the same and taste the same as you would in Germany. Yes, there's, it's gonna be very, very similar to what they get in Germany. Um, like I mentioned earlier, we, had, uh, we get quite a few Germans that come in and try the beer. Uh, they love it, because uh, we do brew our own beer. And then the schnitzels, uh, these recipes have been passed down through the 95 years that the restaurant has been in the family. I and mean, we originated in Germany, so the recipes have come from Germany. It's just, it just doesn't get more authentic. Look, I'm overwhelmed right now. This is good. Hopefully with this joy. This is good. With joy. <laughs> this is good. I already tried the beer, you guys, and it was delicious too. No, she which didn't. is so unique that you have <laughs> that you brew it here. What's this that I'm about to bite into? That's that? German apple strudel. Yeah, and we do this in a homemade vanilla cream sauce topped with a little bit of confectioner's sugar. Uh, you're gonna have a hard time deciding what's better, the sauce or the strudel. Also, I love that you can eat here and then have a little bit of fun afterwards because it turned into a nightlife club. Yes, yes, yes. Fridays and Saturdays we do have a nightlife as well. Mm -hmm. oh. So you can eat dinner. Uh, New Year's Eve was actually pretty popular with quite a few people. They had, they did the whole dinner, New Year's Eve dinner, and then they did the whole nightlife. They just stayed here. They oh, came cool. for dinner and then stayed all night. Okay, we have all the information about Obie's, also Foxy's Restaurant Week, which is happening next week, starting on Friday. You can come and enjoy all this yummy food. We have all that on our website, fox11online.com. A lot of jealous people. I need people. to continue to dig in. A lot of jealous people in the studio right now watching this, Gabby. It looks so good. You enjoy it. Stay with us. Good day, Wisconsin. We'll be right back.